Well, they were one of the most influential bands of the 80s that helped pioneer a new sound in music. Talking Heads was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2002. One of the founding members, keyboardist and guitarist Jerry Harrison, is back out on the road touring in celebration of the band's famous 1980 album, Remain in Light, which includes a stop in Chicago tomorrow night. And Jerry joins us this morning. Good morning, sir. Good Boy, morning. Real, can you hear us, Jerry? <laughs> All right, hopefully I we... hear you just fine. Do you hear me? We do. We do. Let me ask okay, you, I, I'm, I'm no musicologist, but it just seems like the Talking Head music was just so unique and just so different. Where does that come from? Well, I think it comes from the so well, I think it comes from the songwriting to begin with, but I think it also comes from, uh, you know, David, Chris, and Tina went to the Rhode Island School of Design, and I actually studied painting and, and sculpture. And so we were bringing some of the aesthetics that was were going on in visual art to how we approached music. And I think that that uh, made us uh, made us stand a little a little apart from the other bands of the of that period. Hmm. Um, it is wonderful the lasting power we have had and. Uh, you know, we we were we ended up influencing a lot of bands, and uh, this you know the songs seemed to fit the bill for like various films and various things. You know, D David was a lyricist who often talked about subject matter other than relationships. Yeah, and so which I think also broadens, uh, you know, the appeal of where it would fit into when it does when we're doing a sync right. So. Huh. All these things together, as well as that we worked very hard. <laughs> and you know what? It, everyone talks about that stark look of the videos and of that famous 1980 Rome concert and the, the documentary. I, that with that first concert, though, was all born because you guys just didn't have a, a lot of money for sets, right? Well, there was the first thing was that we needed, we weren't thinking about sets. We were thinking about how do we play this record that we just recorded yeah. where we all played so many multiple parts that we had to enlarge the band. And uh, I actually was sort of one afternoon, David and I sat down and uh, sort of went through what we would need. And I was able to basically, because I had been uh, spending a lot of time in the New York music scene, and I had met a lot of people like Bernie Worrell, and we all knew Adrian, who of course played on the record. And so really in an afternoon, we I was able to hire most of the band, except for the Steve Scales, the percussionist. And to begin with, it, it was an experiment. There was a, a festival in Toronto called Heat Wave. And then we had been doing the concerts in the Central Park series. Both of these were, uh, gigs that paid a little bit more. And so we said, let's see what it's like if we do a big band. So at first it was a two week experiment, but when we got the response and we had the, felt the joy on, on stage, it was like, we have to figure out a way to, to take this forward to the world. It yeah. was the only time we really ever took tour support, which we did pay back. Yeah. So what's it like for you to tour today uh, do you go in there with the approach of, I'm just going to give the people what they want, or do you feel this obligation, I, I want to give them a surprise? Well, I think to a degree, it's of course giving the people something that they've missed. Uh, and it's also, we moved on and eventually released Stop Making Sense, which was, uh, I think it's a fantastic film, but it's far more about careful staging and lighting and uh, you know, people sometimes are in the dark and things like that. And the Remain in Light tour, the first time we tried to be a big band, it was all about uh, just the music. And we kind of stayed with the sort of lights largely on that we had been, we had done, say, on the Fair of Music tour, where we had very stark, just white lighting. And it was about just the, the music and the interaction and we kind of wanted people to see all the interactions between people, but it was less staged. It was more mm -hmm. impromptu. And of course, it, you know, it had the most, you know, this one of the greatest guitar soloists, Adrian Ballou, 
you know, as as a member of the band. Mm -hmm. And so I thought it was that, that was especially with the uh, 20th, 40th uh, anniversary of Remain in Light coming up, uh, that Adrian and I had been talking about how often people talked about that video that you mentioned from Rome. I said, well, let's see if we could recreate this. Huh. Uh, here, you know, and COVID interrupted it happening in 2020, and here we are. We've been doing festivals for the last two years, kind of making up some of the dates that we would have had in 2020. Right. And now we're doing a, a theater run, yeah, which is really gonna be, fun. You're going to be here in Chicago at the Vic Theater on the 25th, and uh, that's tomorrow night. And, uh, Jerry, it's a pleasure to talk to you. You can follow Jerry Harrison on social media. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you.